keep your projects, ambitions, and lifetime goals to yourself. People hate to see you moving up and elevating, especially if you were stuck at the same level with them. I feel like you should always keep your next move to yourself. For the majority of black women, as I said in a similar type of video, black women have a harder time stepping in to their reality. All the stereotypes around and now society sees it as it's like the most absurd thing if a black woman really does step into her femininity. I feel like especially if it is a dark skinned woman. By you opening your mouth about your business, your next move and your goals, you're pretty much telling someone where the door is to come and attack. You're giving someone the key to open the door and now come and attack your next move, attack your next business goals, attack everything that you have put out there for everyone. And I feel like especially if you start telling other black females that you want to start tapping into your femininity side, there was a lot of masculine women around. And by masculine, I do not mean physically masculine, how they look. No, I mean in the way they move, in the way they act. There's a lot of hardcore masculine women that will probably shade you because they feel like, or probably side eye you and feel like you need to stay stuck on their level and I'm telling you, you don't. You'll probably receive a lot of backhanded compliments, side eyes and just a sense of jealousy all around. Majority of the time, this will come from your friends, family or definitely your workplace. There is a wisdom for people who move in silence. Lay low, build in silence and come back with all you got. People will act like they're generally happy for you and they're really not. Low-key, they're really mad jealous or they just probably don't even care, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people around you could be praying for your downfall and you don't even know that. Me personally, I'm such a private person, always have been, so moving in silence to me is literally nothing. I never talk too much, but I stay observing always. My boyfriend is literally the exact same. This is how you ladies should be like. Masculinity has embedded so deeply into our black culture, especially for the women. So once you start tapping into your femininity, there is going to be a lot of passive aggressive females around you. Stay silent. Why are you posting on Twitter about your job interview? You haven't even got the job yet, sis. Sis. You haven't even got the job yet and you're already posting about it. What happens when you don't even get the job? What happens when they tell you to go back home? What are you gonna do? Run back to Twitter and inform everyone that doesn't even care? Ladies, I say this is literally like a pregnancy. A woman doesn't normally announce that they're pregnant until a couple months after. That's when she will now come out and let everyone know she is pregnant. So why would you be so quick to tell the whole world something that hasn't even been completed yet? Hasn't even been approved yet? I feel like if you generally need advice or want to go to your mom about something, let's say, I feel like that's absolutely fine. Just be careful what you're exposing out there. You never know who's planning on making your life miserable until you clock on. Us women are literally the minority as black women. So I feel like you should definitely be careful and act accordingly. I feel like before you start speaking, you should definitely sit back and observe. I know women in general of all races use the emotions before even thinking about the situation to a full extent. Have a habit of speaking before they've even thought anything logically. Seems like men can actually talk about something without emotions in the way. So I feel like with black women, you should definitely take a step back and observe what's going around before you start telling everyone your business, your plans, etc. Definitely stay low and stay focused. Yes, ladies, just signing off. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up if you do agree and if you would like to see me do more videos on these. Don't forget to stay silent ladies. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you on my next video. Bye!